we'll go back to the x-ray. So this is, this is what we have. She's painful throughout. We're maybe not 100% sure about the acromion. And she wants something done. So why don't you give me a sense of how you're going to approach this problem. And um, we'll just go down the line. We'll go backwards. John, why don't you start? Yeah, so I mean, if in, if if she's cup deficient and that's her entire subacromial bursa filled with loose bodies, then your your gut check says, all right, this patient's going to do best with a reverse. But I don't think they're going to do so great with a reverse if they have a, a, a this looks like a more medial chromium fracture. So that part really is a big changer for me. I think if the patient had, she, it, they're starting off with pretty crappy baseline scores. And this could be, if you wanted to not address the acromion and not worry about it, it could be one of the few times where you say, this is a pain relieving operation alone and do a hemiarthroplasty, which sounds crazy, but I would be worried if there was a base or a medial acromion fracture that is not healed, that didn't heal before I put a reverse, that I could ever get it to heal if I put a reverse. So I think your cho choice is to do a two-stage operation address the acromion fracture and then do a reverse and hope it heals first before you do that reverse or do a minimal goals hemiarthroplasty, which is, is going to sound like here, you know, heresy these days, but it's something that I think you could consider in a patient who's as complicated as this. Okay. And if you were going to do the hemiarthroplasty, you would just do it in one go, get all the um, I wouldn't bone even address out. the acromion. Yeah, I would just do clean out the joint, do a hemiarthroplasty, you know, pre-reverse ways of manning cuff arthropathy.